400 years ago, Aristotle said, education of the head without education of the heart is no education at all. The message is so simple. It's so obvious that almost not a day goes by without me wondering how on earth as a world we have come this far without implementing what Think Equal calls for. It's calling for a system change in education, for a new subject to be brought on to the compulsory curricula of world schools. I mean, when you think about how we are educating our children and what we are preparing them for, we, our governments, its systems, policy makers, educators, parents, who ought to be putting the wholesomeness of our children at the very forefront. When we're designing these education systems that are there to nurture them, to prepare them for the rest of their lives, what are we giving them? Numeracy, literacy, a stress on testing? I mean, where is that holistic education? Where is the education of their hearts? Teaching them critical thinking, the crucial empathy, and compassion, which is different from empathy, and helping them experientially learn gender sensitization and the breaking down of gender stereotypes and other stereotypes, to know about alternative constructive endings to problems, to resolve conflict peacefully, all these things. This is a massive subject. Where are the prevention and intervention programs? And where are they, particularly at the crucial stages, in the early years, between the ages of three and five? When neuroscientists tell us that the brain is at its maximum neuroplasticity, is optimally cognitively modifiable, where are the educators teaching them that each and every one of us is of equal value? What we at Think Equal have done is gathered together like hungry magpies, best practice from around the world. We've gathered together experts, thought leaders, visionaries in education, in gender, in human rights. And this group of stellar individuals have been helping us to design and construct and deliver the Think Equal curriculum in social and emotional learning. We now have 160 lesson plans for three-year-olds, and they are beautiful. So we're on course to create global citizens who will rise to the challenges of the 21st century, and most importantly, will break the pervasive discriminatory mindset and cycle of violence. We can do it. And I urge every single person who is hearing me say this, please support us. Help us to advocate, to lobby, to advance this message, and to persuade and inspire education ministers, heads of state, parents, teachers, educators, policy makers. It is the right of our children. We are accountable to our children. Let us all join hands together and demand this to create a safe, a free, an equal world at last.